hello welcome this is my youtube channel um i've been wanting to do this for a very long time uh years i think i think six or seven years i've been wanting to like make a youtube channel and i always talk myself out of it whether it's uh you know oh you don't have the right equipment or you don't know what you're doing or you don't know how to edit video that's great i still don't know how to do any of that stuff and i only just now have a camera so i could have used my phone all these other excuses but you know here we are it's 2023 we're just doing it baby um i am well my name is spencer i'm a career bartender um, i've been in my industry for about 15 years i've been behind a bar for almost 10 so i'm excited to uh well, I should actually just tell you the purpose of this channel is to like give you behind the scenes uh, of my life as somebody who's opening a coffee shop and bar. Um, I'm excited to like take you along this journey to see all the ins and outs uh, and be there with me as I, me and my business partner, or my business partner and I build this thing. Uh, and eventually open and have a brick and mortar and all the all the cool things that we're going to do. I'm very, very excited for it. Uh, there will be two channels. There'll be this channel, which is my personal blog or vlog. Then there will be a second channel that will be just for the restaurant. Um, I'm just going to call it a restaurant, even though we're we may serve food. We may not. But just for ease of, you know, understanding, I'm going to just call it a restaurant. Um, yeah. That will be for like drink recipes and cocktails and our cocktails and classic cocktails and technique and all the things that come with creating a, you know, YouTube channel for drinks. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, there'll be some behind the scenes stuff in both channels, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to do this and I still don't know what I'm doing, but hey, we're gonna figure it out, so.
trying to get Madison on the couch, but that's proving to be difficult. Um, fun fact, having a blind dog will teach you a lot of patience. Uh, um, yeah, so I have two dogs. Molly, who's licking herself on camera. That's not very ladylike of you. Uh, and then I have Madison, who is um, blind. She wasn't born blind, um, but that's why I adopted her. Um, I knew the breeders, which I'm not the biggest fan of breeders. I'm not saying all breeders are bad, but I just don't like the practice. Um, but yeah, so uh, my last job, my GM, her husband is a breeder and they you know, Madison just one day stopped seeing after about a couple of weeks. And so uh, they asked if anybody wanted to do a doctor. And I was the first person I was like, oh, I will. I'll do it. So, um, yeah, she's a purebred American bully. And then Molly here is what I think is a Jack Russell American pit. She definitely has Jack Russell in her and she definitely has pit in her. But we haven't done... Um, we haven't done a DNA test just because I don't really care that much. They're both registered as emotional support animals, um, so it doesn't really affect me. But yeah, um, speaking of emotional support animals, um, another thing that I'm excited to like share on this channel is vulnerability. Um, you know, not just specifically with men, though I think that is an important topic, but just vulnerability in all senses of, you know, in all forms. Um, I think it's important that we don't just only show the sides that we want people to see. And I know I'll struggle with that. Um, right before I shot that last shot of me making coffee, I like cleaned the dishes. Like I put them in the dishwasher and everything so it didn't look like I was like a dirty bum. Um, but that's not real life, you know? So I really want to like show vulnerability and like what it's like living with depression and anxiety and what it's like being medicated. Um, you know, in the shot that I did when I was getting ready, like I'm medicated. I have a thyroid disorder, like I have the underactive thyroid. And then I take two, uh, antidepressants. Well, one of them is an antidepressant, anti-anxiety, and then one is strictly for, um, I think it's like, it's kind of like Adderall a little bit, but it's not Adderall. Um, and it helps level me out and kind of like gives me like a mood rather than just like sitting on the couch doing nothing. So, um... But yeah, so like, I think it's important to talk about those things and I'm excited to like share that um, in a respectful way. Like obviously I need to like respect my boundaries and boundaries of other people, but um, I think it can be done tastefully if, if that's even a thing. Um, I think you can show somebody going through something um, and the pros and cons, because there are pros and there are cons to it. So, but yeah, I'm excited to like do that. Um, this is slightly my morning routine. I'm getting back into it since I'm getting back on my medication. I'm like, I'm very much a creature of habit and routine. So I have to like, I really have to force myself to do it. Otherwise I won't do anything. So yeah, I normally, Today's a bit different because I didn't wake up here. I'm sure you noticed that one, like the first shot of me talking, I was clothed, like, and not clothes that you would wear to like bed. Uh, I stayed at my girlfriend's apartment, uh, which will soon be our apartment. Um, we just got approved this morning. Um, so we'll be moving in together in October, on Halloween actually. So that's gonna be great. Um, I'm very excited to live with her, um, and I'll be a block away from work, which may be like, oh, that's terrible. Like you can, like they know you where you are and blah blah blah. I'm not management yet, so it doesn't really affect me. And my boss lives in that building too, and I'm friends with her, so it'll be fine. I'm just excited to save money and gas and walk to work every day. 
like rain, sleet, or snow, or any of that, like I can just walk, not a big deal. But yeah, so this is kind of my routine a little bit. Um, normally I wake up, I shower, do my skincare routine. Well, I walk the girls first, because they're important. Um, but yeah, after I do that, and then I make coffee, and then I normally will either kind of like watch, you know, something on YouTube, or I will just kind of sit and meditate. Um, coffee normally is always involved though. And then, uh, depending on what I have to, to do that day, I'll go do it. I have to work later, so um, I don't know if this video is going to stop when I go to work or if it's going to continue. I won't be filming at work because I think that's not, um, I just don't think that's like wise. Um, I think there needs to be some boundaries. Um, that's not to say I won't ever film at work, but I also, they don't know that I'm making a YouTube channel. So that's a conversation to be had. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to drink my coffee and then I'm going to go to a coffee shop, which is weird that I'm drinking coffee, then going to go drink more coffee, but I love coffee. Um, but yeah, no, mainly it's just like, so I can get out of the house and like sit down and work. Um, I'll probably journal. I'll send in my notice for my apartment that I'm not renewing. Um, though I wasn't going to renew anyways. Um, and then just probably edit some photos and research some stuff and read and call it a day and then go to work. I work a mid shift today, so yeah.